Hello, 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 Spriggans. This is the easy guide to all Dawn Trail 7.0 Aether Sands. We're going to be getting the Sun Gilt, Mythroot, Mythloam, and Mythbrine Aether Sands with minimal melds and an 800 GP rotation. So you can buy them from scripts right here, but as you can see, they cost a lot of orange scripts. Sun Gilt and Mythbrine will be from Spearfishing. Sun Gilt is very easy, it's going to be in Yaktel. And we're going to go to the Western Eclash Soli spearfishing spot. And we want the Sunlit Prism. And it is a collectible. It is a small, fast fish. We want to use Nature's Bounty for every fish here. This is by far the fastest I've found. They usually give about 6 to 8 per ethereal reduction when using Nature's Bounty. Mythbrine Aether Sand will also be from spearfishing. We're going to head to Shaloni to the only spearfishing spots, which is Northern Lake Tori. Here we're going to be getting the Longnose Gar, which is a large, fast fish. We also want to use Nature's Bounty to get a larger catch. They typically give 2-3 to three per and can double proc for 6. We will also be getting Ice Clusters from these. Then we're going to be doing Quarrying for Miner. We got Brightwind Ore. This can be found in Living Memory. The, it is a time known from 0 to 4 years yet time, uh, 0 to 4 a.m. And it is in this ephemeral rocky outcrop here. There are three nodes. And then we have our harvesting, volcanic grass. It's also in living memory, but it is from 1600 to 1200, which is 4 to 8 p.m. years yet time. And it's going to be over here. And we're going to be using our Scrutiny Scour Rotation. Okay, we're going to get the Sun Gilt Aether Sand from this spearfishing spot. So we're looking for the small fish and the fast one. On this node, we just saw the slow version. This one is slightly faster. And there we go. We got it with Nature's Bounty, so it was a large. I'm going to catch this uh, shiny here. And then I caught a another one, but without nature's bounty. So I'll show you what the ethereal reduction is like for that. Okay, so the ethereal reduction, the one that was not large, and we only got one. And then the one we used nature's bounty on, which is guaranteed large, we got six. Wonderful. Okay, for our second spear fishing, this one's for Mythbrine, either Sand. We're heading over to Shaloni to the Northern Lake Tori spear fishing spots. The only spear fishing spot in this zone. We're looking for the long nose gar. It is a large fast fish and this one's quite fast. And we also want to use our nature's bounty as well. There we go, so that's the slow large one. And then here comes the, uh, the fast one. There we go, so we got both at once, so unfortunately the other fish ate up our nature's bounty, but that's okay, we got a shiny right after, so I can show you the difference in uh, ethereal reduction. So you also get your ice clusters with this, which is really nice. And yeah, I only got one on the one that wasn't nature's bounty, but you usually get two or three, and it can double proc for six. So here we go, we're going to use Scrutiny, Scour, Scrutiny, hopefully we can get a proc, didn't, okay so Scour, and then we'll, you, this is optional, you can use a Priming Touch to try and get to a thousand, and we got a proc, awesome, so now we're going to use Solid Reason. Hopefully we can get a Eureka, which we did, so now we have four, and we just collect all of them. And these are all very basic, you don't need any of the tomes for these. Uh, right now you can see on my map that there is a tome node up at the same time, so if you are getting tome nodes, you might want to prioritize those. And yeah, as you can see, the node is up till 4 a.m. And we're on the third node, and we just hit our 800 GP with the two high cordials, 
and we still have two hours left on the Eorzea time, so you have plenty of time to get your GP back. Alright, so Brightwind Ore, Brutney, Scour. Looks like we got a proc, so I'm going to use Brazen Prospector with another Scrutiny. Hopefully we can get a thousand. Looks like we did. Awesome. So we'll use uh, Solid Reason and no Eureka. That's a shame. But we still got three of four, so you want to you wanna aim for at least three every time. Here we go. This is for the myth roots. We're gonna get the volcanic grass. And we'll do a scrutiny. Scour. Oh, and we got a proc, so we'll do a scrutiny. And then we'll use Brazen Woodsman. Hopefully we can get a thousand. And we did. So now we'll use Old Man, Age's Words. Hopefully we get a Eureka proc, which we didn't. So that's okay. So we'll just get three on this node. Okay, we got our minimum 800 GP. Now we'll go for our fucking grass. Scrutiny. Scour. Scrutiny. No proc, so we'll scour again. And we have enough GP to do a priming touch with our meticulous woodsman. So hopefully we can get a free one. Looks like we did. Awesome. So we use Old Man. And we got a Eureka. Awesome. So now we got four. So we just collect those. So very easy. I do not have good melds. In fact, I still have Endwalker melds on my gear. I still have a full high quality crafted set. Some of these are over melded, as you can see, but I, I didn't do them properly. So. And that I mostly was pushing for gathering. Yeah, and then there should be one more node over here. And that will be it for our mystery. So, yeah, it's pretty easy. You just, you have enough time to wait, usually. So, all right, here we go. Scrutiny, scour. See if we can get a proc, no proc. Scrutiny, scour. We'll use Priming Touch for our Meticulous Woodsman. And we got the proc. Excellent. Old Man. And no Eureka. That's alright. The Thousand rotation is basically you're just going to do Scrutiny, Scour, Scrutiny, Scour. You'll get a thousand. And then you can use Aegis Words twice. Because you'll have... Uh, you need 600 GP for two Aegis words, and then you need 400 GP for the two scrutinies. That's why the 1000 GP rotation is uh, very good. But you also need to be pencil melted. <laughs> Alright, thanks for uh, gathering with me, and uh, good luck on your raids. If you like this video, give it that thumbs up, consider subscribing, and I'll see you in the live streams. Bye for now.